So I see these videos of people going to the dollar store and they buy items and they sell them on eBay and Poshmark and Etsy and not Etsy, Mercari. <laughs> they sell them on selling platforms and they get them at the dollar store. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So I decided to try it and this has been a while back and I, I don't know if I did this the right way. I'm thinking maybe smaller lots would have been the way to go, but you know me, sometimes I'm just lazy and I throw it all together in one big lot and that's what I did. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I bought at the dollar store, how I sold it and how I shipped it. There was kind of a dilemma not really a dilemma um I questioned how I wanted to ship it and I show you guys how I work through that was I going to ship this item priority mail or was I going to ship the item media mail so stay tuned okay I know I haven't told you what the item is but I'm going to show you how I shipped it so I put the items into three manila envelopes just to kind of protect them and then I'm putting them into this large poly mailer and I did not stay in the screen very well. I apologize for that. But basically I'm folding over the top and then I am gonna tape it so it stays, you know, secure. So I'm gonna tape around uh, the outside there and then I go across and then long ways all the way around. Again, I apologize for um, <laughs> not being in the screen. All right, but you can kind of see what I'm doing there. So it is ready to go. And then I measure it, which it got cut out of the video. I wonder when I move it towards, hmm, I'll have to look into that. All right, so it weighs almost 10 pounds. Oh my goodness. So I go over to Pirate Ship. And I, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to talk about media mail first. So I was trying to figure out if it qualified as media mail, and it is education uh, material, and there's different rules. I think it says that it has to have books with at least nine pages, and these are books. Um, they're workbooks for kids, and there's no advertisements, so I feel like they would definitely qualify for media mail. And then I'm also going to pull this up. It says media mails for shipping media items containing books, uh, sound recordings, recorded videotapes, printed music, uh, CDs, DVDs. And then I can't read it because it's too small. But I will link uh, both of those links down in the description. So here are the items. And I'm going to show you kind of what they look like on the inside. I picked these up at the dollar store. They were $1 each. I purchased 57 of them. And I kind of had in my mind that I was going to list them in small lots. And I decided to list them all together, as I stated at the beginning. And I'm going to show you what I sold them for here shortly, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what they look like. So they're cute little books. They're... Um, educational they're for younger kids you know subtraction addition um, I think there's one on colors uh, teaching kids how to uh, write their letters and all the answers are on the back I mean they're really nice quality books for sure and they've got like the Disney characters on them and stuff like that so I thought hey this might work so you can see how I package them here's the listing and here are the pictures that I used and I did have multiples of some of them, so I put all of that information in the description. Again, there were 57 of them. I'm not sure if you could actually see what I sold them for, but I sold them for $120 on Mercari. So um, $120, Mercari takes $12. There you can see it. Mercari takes 12, and then I had to pay the shipping. So that was my next dilemma. 
So I put the measurements in here and I go to get rates and you can see that the total is going to be $8.57 for priority mail cubic rate. And then I go back and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to check media mail. And media mail is $7.60. So my question is, how do I ship it? I decided to ship it priority mail with insurance. All right, I also purchased these from the dollar store, which these are really cool. They are write and wipe workbooks. And basically you write with a dry erase marker and then you can erase it and reuse. And I do have these listed separately and I have them on eBay. And I'm gonna show you that listing right here. I have it for, I think it's $10.80 plus shipping. And that is for one of each, colors and numbers. And I have sold three and I have two sets left. So this is just a little add-on. The other day I was like, oh, I really need to order eBay supplies because I'm almost out of my boxes. And I'm getting a box to ship something else. And I look over and I really was not out at all. Okay, Bola Buddies, what do you think about my dollar store flip? Do you think I got lucky? I'm kind of wondering if maybe it was the circumstances in which we are dealing with right now. Everybody's at home. They're on lockdown. You know, they people have kids at home. They're wanting them to be doing lessons. So these are lesson books. I don't know. Um, or maybe it's somebody that owns like a little boutique and they want to resell them in their store. I don't know. So what do you think? Would you do this? I know that they have these at the dollar store all the time. Should I do it again? I feel like it was a little bit of a kind of a big investment considering how many I bought and how long I had to wait, but I am so thankful that they sold. So I don't know if I would call this a bolo because I can go get them whenever I want. Um, I don't know. I don't think I would do it again just because it took so long to sell. What do you guys think? Comment below. And if you have a dollar store find, can you comment below and let me know what it is? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't expect everyone to give away their secrets. But um, yeah, I was just kind of excited that I sold something that I bought at the dollar store. I went in on a mission and I kind of got carried away and was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And my original thought was, I'm going to sell them in small lots or I'm going to sell them individually. And then I started thinking about it and I'm like, I just don't want to mess with all of that. I just, I don't. So I put them in a big lot. I had them on eBay. I can't remember how long I had it on Mercari. It may say actually in the listing when you guys watch, if you watch it back, you can maybe look and it might say when I listed it because I cannot remember. But I know they sat on eBay for a while. And again, I don't think I'll do this again. If I do, I think I would do maybe lots of 10, but they're a buck each. So is the profit margins really that good? And for some people it will be because a lot of people like retail arbitrage. It's not really my thing. I'm kind of over retail arbitrage. Okay, I'm gonna take you straight into a Instagram video that I did. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me. It's bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers. And I post little videos like this. Here we go. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. I am a baby sloth. I am Folkmanis. I think that's how you say it. Brand. And I sold for $26.40 plus shipping for a total of $34. Joey bought a Bing 22. This is a Folkmanis puppet. But this one's new with tags, and it's a little smaller than the one you got, I do believe, from Donatella Bodolino's auction. But they sell really well. They are definitely a bolo, and I pick up Folk Manus whenever I can. He is a little bit shy. He's peeking out at us. Hello! I'm going to my new home. 
Everybody go watch Bolo Buddies and also check out Mayo Man Joey Bada Bing 22. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.